Hey guys, today we're going to talk about commanders and I thought I'd cover this early on because commanders can be a problem if you mess up early game and there's really not one way, there's not really a way to correct it if you make a mistake with them. So, for each ship there are two different commander types, okay? Every nation, regardless of the nation, there's two, okay? So, if we go into it here, for cruisers we have an aggression, a damage focused commander. Different nations have different traits, but their overall traits are aggressive skills, skills that help increase the damage you do. So beyond range, you more range, you can hit more things. Igniter, you get more fire chance, do more damage. Punch through, you get that. You'll get a couple of survivability skills, but overall it's more focused on the damage that you do. Now, as I said, there's two. So you have Bruce Fraser for the for the British, okay? And we'll have William Tennant is the alternate commander for your cruisers. This decreases the damage you take. It's all about the enemy damage, the enemy salvos that come in, how you can dodge them, how you can run away, how you can mitigate the damage, and how you can heal it back up. All these, that's the focus on these commanders. Now, if we just go straight to every other nation, <clears throat> let's go for the Japanese. Isoroku Yamamoto is the aggression commander for the cruisers. Whereas if we go for Genichi Makawa, he is the defensive commander, the survivability commander. Okay, now this is not just for uh, cruisers, this works the same way. So we go over to battleships here, this is the Queen Elizabeth and we're using Andrew Cunningham. Andrew Cunningham is the aggression, the precision commander build. So he, he has focus, and these commander focuses are to buff their gunpower and survivability is a secondary focus. You see all these skills are all red, it's, it's confrontational, so they're all to help you do damage. There's a couple of survivability skills, yes, but it's more about the damage you do and not the damage you take. So this is the aggression commander. If we go over to a different option here, we go over to Charles Madden. He is focused, he's more focused on survivability. So you're not one for the nuisance. You've got the survivability slash confrontational skill. You've got firefighter, which is your chances of fire, which is the number of fire for three. It tells you everything you need to know about these skills. Just read the skill. As much as I'd like to go into detail of that, you can just read the skill. It tells you everything you need to know. Any other questions on this, please ask me in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer these. You're not going to get an answer if you don't ask the question, so ask the question. As you see, more gives you more heals, more repair party, which is a heal. <clears throat> Will to rebuild, stuff like this. So, Every command, every nation has this. Let's go over quickly to the nations. <clears throat> Let's go to Germany. Franz von Hipper. See, he's focused on uh, damage. You've got uh, marksmanship. Uh, you've got most of the most of these perks are aggression. You see, you'll 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 see a trend once you notice this. Flambeau Canier, uh, marksmanship, reaching out, stuff like that. And then we go over to the other guy, which is the survivability guy, the brawler option for the battleships. <clears throat> and we'll go into over what brawler is and it's not just the skill it's a completely different thing <clears throat> good day's work porcupine this is secondary is a more for defense of in this at least of what they want to do in this game firefighter mass mechanic you see every nation is, is the same and then we go over quickly to last but not least destroyers <clears throat> destroyers have two builds they have a gunnery focus build and then they have a torpedo focus build. So Philip Vian for the British is the gunnery focus build. <clears throat> Quick fix helps you take, helps you uh, helps your steering and your engine remain functional after being damaged or broken. So you can run about, you can gun down for longer. Uh, all destroyers have look at me now as a general uh, rule of thumb, just for concealment. It's very important to them. Stand or fall. Reduced armament ships, so reduce your reload as you take as you take damage. You know, sidestep for range of guns, incoming fire, dispersion, stuff like this. You know, rather be torching aggressive skills. You see, there's they're more for gunnery focus. <clears throat> and if we go for an alternate option, the alternate option is Ren Reginald Tyrwhitt. You see, his focus is more on torpedoes. See all the symbols there? Subsurface venture for torpedoes, 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 torpedoes. I also have standard fall, but it's more for torpedoes, you see? Destroy, be destroyed. Reducing your gun performance at a force speed. 
It's all about your torpedoes on the focus. So again, every nation have us. Let's go over quickly to the to um, the, 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 the Americans who have a new commander who's just focused on this. Sub versus subsurface venture, torpedo safari. Albert Gleaves here. Fragile threat. Even more detectability reduction at the cost of your own health. Cloak and dagger. More torpedo focus skills. Destroy be destroyed. And then we go over to uh, <clears throat> a gunnery focus there. William Halsey. Observant rage. Reducing your reload of your main guns. Mortar. Giving you AP shell damage at the cost of more detectability. Twist and track. Which is a very aggressive skill. I and mean, we can go into this later on if we go into detail. Again, smoke in the water, cloudy days, stuff like this. These are all uh, different skills, but the overall concept is the same. So these are more for your guns, and then these are more for your torpedoes. So torpedo commander, and that's a gun commander. And last but not least, we have a universal commander, which you have automatically. This is your first set of commanders. These, these, these commanders can work on every ship. They're not focused on one type of ship. <clears throat> You see all these traits are not for battleships, cruisers or destroyers, they're generic skills. Fire chance, everybody would, everybody could use that. Ramming damage, everybody could use that. Torpedo speed, some people can't use that but most, a lot of people can't. Concealment, main battery, if these are all, if you don't have a commander, these are ideal and these are very useful for other builds. It does depend on what you want to run on your ship. This is what goes back to episode one, knowing your ship. <clears throat> So yeah, tons of options again. These are all different options or commanders. Every nation has this, except a couple of nations aren't completely filled out like the Italians, but that's a different story for a different time. <clears throat> so uh, let's go into quickly event commanders. Now, event commanders are commanders who are falling under the same category, but they have a, usually have a special skill, like Azureline Sharnhorst here. Her base trait is different, and her, her her fancy skill is torpedo launch for this particular scenario. We have event commanders and they're only obtainable from events, of course. <clears throat> now, uh, I will go into detail on ranking your commanders. Leveling up your commanders costs commander XP, promotion orders, and finally, insignias. Now these are all, uh, insignias are incredibly hard to get. Promotion orders are still hard to get but not as hard and commander xp is easier to get but it can be troublesome so you don't want to be leveling these commanders at all unless you're 100 percent sure you want to use this commander as an example here this event commander here i do not like what she has i don't like her skills i don't see her as a useful commander so i will not level her up you can get to rank six okay with just commander xp and then you can get to rank 13 with just promotion orders and then rank 14 you require onwards you require the insignias and everything else <clears throat> so you gotta be careful what you level your commanders because you need to give a balanced mix for everybody you can focus on one nation and uh, you know you can benefit from that and you lose out in the other nation so be careful what you level uh, as an example George Dewey here I've not leveled him very much I don't use him for anything and if you didn't like him, you don't like him as a commander and you've leveled him up, it's kind of a waste of your resources. <clears throat> I have a lot of commander, a lot of high level commanders here, but I've been playing the game for a long time. So that is my, you, generally as the time progresses, you gain more and more of these things and you can use them. But it's being advisable, you need to be really careful of this. <clears throat> so level only who you think are absolutely great and you want to use this commander. Additionally, you can go to the store and go to commanders and you can actually buy the commander that you like you don't have to go over to just USA you can go to Japan Germany France uh, USSR the Soviet Union and Italy you know you have all these options you can buy the commander so saving up the commander XP and buying the commander you want is a really good option <clears throat> so if you're looking for the Russian cruisers and you like a Russian cruiser maybe you want to play it safe originally so you can level up Mr. Makarov okay for he's a survivability trait, so he will help you learn the ship. And then once you're more confident in Russian cruisers, <clears throat> you could switch to Kuznetsov, Nikolai Kuznetsov. As you can see, he is for uh, increasing your range and firepower, your damage. <clears throat> see how he's all got damaging skills. 
this is what all commanders are for. <clears throat> now, uh, last but not least, I know this is a video getting there, but it's worth covering everything at the same time. Traits. Every commander has a base trait. This goes up as you level a commander. And you can use these base traits on any other commander, assuming you have leveling enough levels put into the commander. So let's just go over to our event commander who is level 1, which is a perfect example for this. At level 1, you cannot use these inspiration slots. As you can see, one at rank 7, you unlock an inspiration slot. And at rank 11, you unlock the other one. Okay, let's go to uh, Bruce Fraser for now. I'm using the Genichi Mikawa skill, the Japanese commander, that increases your concealment for your cruiser. This is useful for a cruiser commander and is a good inspiration for my particular ship. And it would change for a commander, but as I said, we talked about it before, some ships, uh, most ships have similar traits of the same nation, so commander builds shouldn't vary too much. <clears throat> so the first inspiration is from a Japanese guy. Second one is also from a Japanese guy, but it's a completely different thing. Is increasing armor piercing, armor piercing capabilities of the cruiser's shells. We just go over quickly to Andrew Cunningham. I'm using both German commanders. It doesn't matter what nation it is. Andrew Cunningham's base trait is better shell gripping. You look about and you find these commanders and they're all useful. They're all somewhat useful. These traits are all useful, but you can't have them all, so you need to be careful about what you select. <clears throat> Diversity is very interesting, and if you're looking for optimal builds, I recommend uh, thinking about them carefully, just using your brain and taking a look. Because you can see that some of these are great. Eric Bay is a, is a must for destroyers. So just think about it, take your time, don't rush it, because these things cost Commander XP to switch out. As you can see, also, it will take seven battles to adopt once you switch inspiration there. So I'll do this for the sake of the video. If I swap over to Albert Greaves here, I need, there we go. It takes seven battles and I can boost that to, to be currently just active right away if I pay 21,000 Commander XP. I don't like that, so I'm going to switch it back and perfect. Depresto, done. <clears throat> so... Hopefully that tells you everything you need to know about commanders. And yeah, hope this video wasn't too long. And yeah, thank you very much. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.